fellas you've taken that plunge and you've gone overseas you got your passport you found yourself a traditional wife and although it's less likely for a traditional wife that was raised in a third world country or foreign country however you want to call it um it's less likely for them to look to divorce you and in, and in some cases you know divorce is not even part of their culture at all so um even so um you're about to take that step into getting married um either possibly to live overseas or bring them back to the united states in my case i'm bringing my wife here to the united states um understand the laws of where you're living or where you plan to live in, in either her country or, or in yours and um make sure you put some insurances in place to protect protect yourself because the person that you married and the person that you live with for however long is not a person that you're going to be divorcing um and the insurance is similar to that of a car you don't go out there with the expectation of going to, to crash into somebody or get hit by somebody it's just in case something happens you have the insurances in place to protect you or at least soften the blow and that's where the prenups come in the prenuptial agreement uh, if you if you're in the United States every state has a prenup in place already um, that's not really geared to, to be in your favor if you're the breadwinner so you want to be able to have that in place um, well in advance to uh, to the actual wedding uh, about two three months in advance to the to the wedding of course and you could hire a lawyer if you want to in some states it's not really required uh, because it's not really as complex as in some other states if, if you plan to bring your wife here to the United States so keep that in mind in the state of Maryland it's treated as a contract that's where I live so uh, any old contract signed uh, in front of a notary will work uh, you don't have to jump through a whole lot of crazy hoops or whatnot to create one um, those of you who, who forego the prenup or didn't think about it, look at the postnup because either way, it's still really important to have one regardless of who you marry, especially since hypergamy is everywhere in the world. Um, it's part of, of female nature. And you want to be able to have those insurances in place. That way, you can really invest all of yourself into the relationship and to that family. Let me know if this makes sense to you. Like, subscribe, share the information so men can see it and see if it applies to them uh, or it gives them something to think about. Y'all have a good day.